All right, what's up, everybody? So it's day 16, and day 16 is a challenge that I submitted, and it's to build a giant snowman. Um, oh, the tree looks so pretty with all the, the Christmas tethers on it. It's a shame it will be blown up. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so I was thinking about it. I don't think I'm going to make the the, the uh, snowman any taller than the Christmas tree. And it's nighttime, so you're not going to be able to see the full effect at the moment. But there's a distance, yeah, that's reasonably close to the tree at which it starts to de-render. And I kind of want to be able to have like a, 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 you know, a shot at this distance of the snowman next to the Christmas tree. And so if I make it any larger, then the top portion of it might start to de-render when I get into good like screenshot distance or whatever. So I think I'm going to use the Christmas tree as a as sort of a scale reference. It may not be exact, but uh, yeah, that's sort of what I'm going to go for. And um, I think I have everything that I need. I need to test some colors. So one of the things that I wish they would change with 1.0, and they this may already be in the pipeline, the terrain analyzer is what you paint with. So these are colors that I have collected. And these are different colors. I think this one is technically darker, though I could just be fooling myself. Or maybe it's this one, I don't know. But one of them... One of them is this color. This steel blue color. And... Oh, I think I got rid of it. Yeah. So another one, uh, the other one is actually a color that's close to this gray here. But because this color palette here that's on the device itself is glowing, they both appear to be white. But I know they're not white. So I actually need to go get some white. I'm going to go get some snow because it's a snowman. Um, so I need, uh, let's go ahead and put that other terrain analyzer over here with its buddies. So I need another terrain analyzer. So I need some zinc. And I probably need some tethers. Do I have any? I have I have that. I can make some tethers. So I'm gonna go get some snow real quick. And I was thinking about it. I in in another challenge. Um, I was building a ski slope. I can't remember if it's earlier or later than this one. I've done a few out of order because I'm, you know, working on a, on building up a buffer. And, uh, anyways, I was building a, a ski slope and... I was building it in color, and while it was really just the slope, it wasn't anything terribly complex, it's very difficult to actually see what you're doing while you're working with the white, uh, this, this snow white color. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is... I'm gonna just paint, or I'm just gonna build with the with the normal gray color, just so I can see what I'm doing, and then I'll go back later and paint 
and paint it white. And I think that'll just end up saving me a lot of eye strain and uh, unnecessary frustration with camera angles and, and daylight and all that fun stuff. So, Plus, being a snowman, it's going to have, what, only a handful of colors, white, uh, black or gray or brown or something for the hat. And I may not even do a hat. It may be... I don't know. I may... I think I have an idea. To make it a little more astroneer, but... Easy peasy. Usually I'll just leave some of these out, but I've got I've got a kind of a lot going on with this build. And the game doesn't seem to like a lot of tethers being used. And of course, one of the challenges exploits that. It, you know, you do the tether bomb. But I've already got so many tethers out on the Christmas tree that I figured I'll go ahead and pull up. And of course I got some in that cave down there. Speaking of, one of the things that I need to do is I need to actually go ahead and close up uh, my quarry. So I won't close it up all the way, but at a certain point, the terrain starts to break. Yeah, so it's, it's down in this cave. Uh, this just happens partially just because of just a, a glitch in the game, but it, it also tends to happen when you have a lot of a lot of things happening with your build. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. I will still be able to utilize. Of course, I got the terrain analyzer on. But I'll, I'll still be able to utilize that cave later on for other things. But I don't want to get... I don't want to forget about it. End up sliding down there to get collect some soil. And end up jumping through the, uh, the 3D model of the game. I did that, I did that early on, and that sucked. So... Uh, I have been using sort of these cave walls here as uh, a makeshift quarry, so I'll continue to use that. But in the meantime, I have enough to get started. I also kind of don't want to be 
too close to the tree, the dynamite the dynamite blast radius isn't really that big. It's like I don't know, it's like this big. So as as the tree currently is, I could probably build it right here and it would be fine. Um, but um, I'm not quite done with the dynamite part yet. Uh, as I explore or as I as I venture out to collect more resources or, or research pods or whatever, as I come across more dynamite, I collect it and add it to the tree. But also the tree is hollow and that will come in that will come into play a little later uh, as far as working with the explosion. And so I kind of don't want to build it too terribly close. I think I think that will probably be my uh, maybe a little closer. Yeah, I think that'll do it right there. It's far enough away that I think... Hmm. Maybe a little further. Oh well. If the snowman gets damaged, it'll just be part of the charm. <laughs> so, uh, let's get started with a time lapse.
Alrighty, so I had to stop about halfway through my snowman build uh, for some Christmas stuff, and uh, I also had to figure out the backpack on it. As you could tell, I was making an Astroneer snowman, and uh, I encountered an issue where I, I sort of did this not so much on purpose but I wanted a certain angle so I uh, you know I, I there were some consequences to the choice of an angle that I made and it's the angle at which the backpack is oriented as you can see I've, I've made it a sort of makeshift version of of the backpack um i have some artifact color artifacts i gotta figure out here but uh so if you notice the the cardinal directions are aligned this way and this way and if you uh, if you're doing any true flat stuff and you keep your flat sides along the cardinal directions, uh, you have a lot easier time working with angles. The backpack, as you can see, is uh, offset 45 degrees from those cardinal directions. And so I was having some difficulty uh, setting these platforms into the surface and getting this uh, this one block thickness here uh, so I you know in the in the time between uh, the previous live uh, the previous uh, uh, time lapse and this segment of the video I, I had some troubleshooting I had to do and sort of figure it out and uh, but it's all figured out now, and so I just need to finish it up and uh, decorate it with some items. And I think I'm going to put my, uh, my satellite items on here. As if these are items that our Astroneer has uh, collected. I think I need to rebuild some scaffolding, though, just to get up up to the top platform. I could have gotten a little bit more detailed with the backpack by putting. I thought about putting the uh, the top. Um, like, I thought about putting, like, these side uh, hard points on there. And I, th I feel like if, if I had done it so that the backpack aligned to the cardinal directions, uh, I probably could have gotten a lot more detailed with it in the time, in the time frame I wanted to spend on this project. But as it was that just setting those platforms in there at that that 45 degree offset from the cardinal directions was was difficult enough. <laughs> I thought about hmm, I thought about loading up these center sections with some medium batteries to simulate the power uh, indicator down the center of the backpack. But I think I only have two lithium, so I'm only going to be able to do either two of them side by side or two of them stacked. And I don't, I don't particularly care to go find some more lithium just for the sake of some batteries that aren't going to be used for anything. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call this one done. And I'm going to get rid of my scaffolding here.
and I'm gonna call call that done So there's our gigantic pajamas snowman, complete with air hose, visor, white helmet, orange pumpkin suit, and the backpack with uh, the hard points on it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. anyways there it is hope you enjoyed and uh see y'all later